Local nonprofits hoping that FEMA trailers can eventually help solve Southern Oregon's homeless crisis. Good evening and thank you for choosing NBC5 News at 6. I'm Grace Smith. And I'm Anna Weeks. We told you last month that local wildfire survivors are getting the option to buy the FEMA trailer they're currently calling home. It's something FEMA says it's never done before. Tonight we've learned that trailers that aren't kept will be donated to nonprofits, something agencies here hope can benefit the local homeless community. NBC5's Katie Strife is live out in the field with our top story tonight at 6. Katie? Anna, Grace, the program is called the Sale and Donation Program, and it's to help transition wildfire survivors from temporary to permanent housing. And for wildfire survivors who don't want their trailers, those trailers will then be uh, put to nonprofits where it may go to another family in need. FEMA announced in November a new plan to help wildfire survivors transition into permanent housing. It's called the Sale and Donation Program, and it's something the federal agency has never done before. Because there's such shortage down there of home of housing, we uh, we have to come up with different ways to help the community as best way best way we can. But for those who choose not to stay in FEMA housing, their trailer will get donated to a nonprofit. I would like for them to take advantage of that option. Either they can utilize it or it can be utilized by another family that needs it here in the valley. Medford nonprofit Rogue Retreat says while FEMA hasn't contacted them about this program, it believes it could really benefit the Rogue Valley. That what we're seeing in Southern Oregon is we pull together as the various organizations and communities and municipalities and and we're work to create something for our people. The executive director of Rogue Retreat, Chad McComa, says it could be similar to the Phoenix Talent Gateway Project that put dozens of school district families in RVs after their homes burned in the Almeida fire. There's a way to get some land that we could create a little village of, you know, one of the things that pops in my mind is we need more housing for seniors. Rogue Retreat is already operating Hope Village, the Kelly Shelter, and an urban campground in Medford. It's also involved in other projects locally and says that there is no shortage of need, and these FEMA trailers could help alleviate that. Wildfire sur survivors have until March to decide if they want to keep their trailer or not. Until then, they can live right over here in Talent. There's another location in Phoenix that they can live in as well. Live in Talent, Katie Stripe, NBC5 News.